Okay, people, so now it is, um, May 17th, 2019. I'm going to try and keep this short, okay? I am livid, people. Livid. I am angry. I, I, you just, you just can't imagine. Anyway, Corner called me yesterday, and I'm going to, I'm going to name this, this video, people. Does Corner become liable? Cops are covering it up. In a nutshell, had an argument on the phone with a different coroner because they want to close Shemay's file. And I'm like, are you sure you want to do that? Because the cops don't care. In other words, you can't trust what the cops are saying. Because... They're, 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 they, they're, they're double fiddling with each other, people. Okay? Well, I'm the coroner. Uh, I only have really five things to do. My job is, I don't know what they are. Mm, what does a coroner do? The coroner's jurisdiction is limited to determining who the deceased was. So they determined that it was Shemay Geraldine Chorney. And how? Well, they consider it to be an overdose by accident. And that was through via argument with me. Because at first they wanted to say it was a suicide. When? Well, I reminded that the cor I reminded the coroner, and this is why I'm doing this video, people. Okay? I feel like this little teeny weeny light in this huge cavern of darkness where the darkness represents the population in terms of they don't know what's going on around them because it hasn't affected them personally yet or if it has they hadn't noticed what was really going on because they were lied to and they were deceived and they were gullible and vulnerable to those acts. But sooner or later, more light is going to come into that cavern. You're going to see a little light over here, a little light over there, a little light over there. So I don't feel so alone with this, people. Okay? Because deceased was, well, we know it was Shimei. We know that they've determined that it was an overdose. Case closed. Rubber stamp. Suicide. Oh, sorry. No. Oh, accident. Right? When? Here's the thing. She's trying to say that Shimei died in the hospital. I'm trying to remind her that Shimei did not. That Shimei died in the house. And that coroner failed to show up and do her job. Why? Why? Well, obviously, there was intervention in there called the paramedics and the police and the fire department. They prevented the coroner from coming, from coming in and doing their job in terms of a body being found dead in a house with no answers as to why. This is what I told the coroner yesterday. On the phone, obviously, uh, hyper about it in terms of the octave in my voice is going up. It sounds like I'm yelling because I'm trying to get my point across because they're completely ignoring because they're playing double fiddle saying, well, that's the, that's the cop's job to figure that out, you know, and since they haven't gotten back to me and you're telling me that they said the court case is closed, well, case closed. I'm going to be sending you the final report. And I'm like, yeah, well, you need to stop and think about it, though. Because if you've got somebody like the parent telling you that, no, the case is not closed, that the cops don't give a shit, that they don't fucking care, right? If anything, they've got something to cover up. They prevented you from doing your job. That's what the cops and the paramedics and all those people did that day. They prevented the coroner from doing the job in terms of, the body did not die in the hospital. You may think so because you got a doctor's report trying to say that. You got a bunch of cops trying to run around saying, or whoever, oh, well, we were there in the house. We know for a fact that she was, that she was resusc resuscitated. And then I reminded the coroner that you can't resuscitate dead bodies that have been dead for an hour and a half. Are you listening? This is what I told her. 
Well, yeah, that's, that's besides the point. That's besides the point. That That's not what the cops are saying. Yeah, okay. So does she become liable by allowing the cops to not do her job correctly? Is she just taking the easy route out because it's an easy fucking paycheck now that she's done with university? Is that it? And where they came by their death. When? Well, she's trying to say Shmay died in the hospital because that's what the doctor said. I said, no, she died in the house. And I asked her, where did you get this urine from in order to come back with, well, she had therapeutic fentanyl in her system that had been there for a while because it was therapeutic. It would be something that the doctors monitor in a hospital setting. So she must have been taking it for a while. In, in essence, that's what she's saying, if it's therapeutic, right? And uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> that's what killed her, supposedly. And I said, well, okay, well, how, how'd you get urine out of her? All her urine was on the fucking couch. Oh, well, the, we, we got that information from her blood. I said, oh, so you didn't get the urine then. So there was no urine tested because why, people? Because she died sitting up. So they simply tested her blood. That's all they did for a forensic autopsy. Not an autopsy, but a forensic one. The one that they're supposed to look at her organs and all that shit. Oh, sure, they opened her up to see what. It was all putrid and gone by that point. If it hadn't been removed. And I told that to the coroner. My daughter was embalmed. What you gonna do about that? What? What do you mean by embalmed? I said, well, you know, they put formaldehyde in the freaking body as they take out the blood. She said, oh, well, I don't know about that. I don't think so. I said, yeah, fucking right she did. That's what they did to her. What you gonna do about that? That's what I asked her on the phone, people on the phone, and I told her I wish I had a freaking means to record her. To have that conversation on record. She goes, oh yeah, I, I wish you would too. Because then I'd have my say. What, you're the victim now? You're the fucking victim who doesn't want to do their job and stand up against the cops and say, why wasn't I there when the mother is screaming loud at the top of her lungs on the top of a fucking mountain that something is wrong? Something is wrong? They are covering up for the cops. The cops are covering up for the hospital. The hospital is covering up for whoever fucking gives them a fucking paycheck. Doesn't matter if it's blood money, dirty money, or government money, tax money. It doesn't matter. That's all the hospital cares about is money. Keep a dead body on machine for eight fucking days. How much do you think that cost the taxpayer? Hmm? Sell off a few organs and some body tissues that you can salvage from a dead body, but make it look like it was alive for five fucking days and see how much money you can get out of that. $250,000? For sure, people. Fucking for sure. We're not China, but we're not immune to organ harvesting. One in five for every fentanyl death that goes to have their organs harvested. Right? In terms of five people get their organs harvested, one of them died from fentanyl. Fentanyl brings in the dead bodies. As our public union sector is protecting that fucking system. As they blame the victims time after time after fucking time after fucking time. And then when they get called on it, oh well the doctor said. The doctor said that the patient died in the hospital. Why would the doctor tell the fucking truth if the doctor is taking out the fucking organs? How does that work, people? It's just a bonus for these doctors. Their little colluded group of, well, that family's targeted. You know, we can make this much money this year off of one individual. 
Uncle John. And then two years later, you know, we can capitalize off of a pristine body, age 22, have her all her blood type, everything good to go. We just need the body now. That's number two. Who's going to be number three? As the coroner is sitting there saying, well, it's not my job to investigate. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to tell you that her name was Chorney and that she lived at this address and that, um, what else do they tell you? Anything that you are, er, anything and everything you already know except for what you want to know. They won't tell you what you want to know, but they tell you everything that you do know. Where they came from by their death. She had therapeutic fentanyl, supposedly, in her system enough. So she must have been doing it for a while. Which, if she was hot capped with it, people. Which she was. And if you want to really fucking take it there. The dude who did it must have been giving it to her at a steady dose. Enough to fucking just tip her up over the edge. Knowing that if he kept up with it long fucking enough, because if you remember, she was sick for two fucking days before she suddenly died. From therapeutic fentanyl. Is that, I don't know what you want to call that thing, going in and out of my house, sneaking around. And why? Because his mother's house got robbed because of him. And then he brought the fucking shit over here. And because Shimei was getting on with her fucking life, going to Tacoma, going to college, dating again, he couldn't stand it. So it doesn't matter if it was in one big fucking dose or if it was in therapeutic fucking dose. The point is, Shimei was murdered! And the cops are covering it up! And the coroner is allowing them to do it! Because the coroner doesn't want to stand up to the fucking cops and say, do your fucking job, because something is fucking suspicious around here. Let's not just go with the old okie dokie. Huh? Unless you've got something to gain from it in terms of, oh, well, if we kick off 800 welfare recipients, you know, every year on the year like fucking clockwork, we're saving ourselves fucking millions of fucking dollars over a five-year period to the point where after 10 years, it goes into billions of fucking dollars just by getting rid of those fucking welfare re recipients off the welfare roll permanently. That's not including what they're pulling in from fucking organs, whether it's being done Legally or illegally. Well, what do you mean by she was embalmed? Well, I don't know. You're the you're the fucking coroner. You know what in the word embalm means. Why do I have to take you back to fucking medical school and explain to you what embalming means? It means that they took out my daughter's blood and they put in fucking formaldehyde. That's what they did. And then they played it off to fucking a hundred people that Shimei was fucking alive. And that they were doing such a great fucking job when in fact they were deceiving the public and the family. For some morbid fucking reason outside of uh, profit in terms of, well, you know, if we keep her on the machines for eight fucking days, we'll probably get an extra $200,000 for our ICU ward. Right? Or more. When the death is suspected to have been either sudden or unknown cause. But you see, that's the thing. And that's why I'm doing this video. Because they hide behind fucking fentanyl. Fentanyl is their weapon, people. Because they can just simply blame the fucking victim without looking at the root fucking causes. And when the root causes are staring them in the face, they turn around and they walk away. Because at the end of the fucking day, they want those millions of dollars saved from the welfare rolls as those people are being kicked off. In addition to, they want those arguments Gens. by any means necessary, as the public union sector would say. Violent. Oh, being hot cop, being given something that you don't even know that's being given to you, isn't considered violent. That's a loving fucking action. Unless your head is blown off, everything else is insignificant. The cops will fucking ignore it. 
Show her the corner. Because she's too busy blaming the fucking cops. Waking up the fucking neighborhood here. And that's a good thing. It's a good fucking thing. Like I said, I'm that little light with my family in this huge fucking cavern that's going to fucking fill up people with a lot of fucking lights. And when? What are these people going to do then? Come in with their fucking bombs? Blow us all up? For telling the truth? Unlike them? When the death is suspected to have been either sudden with unknown cause, which none of us knew what the fuck was wrong with Shimei, but again, those people did not pronounce her dead like they should have done. Instead, they took out a dead body, whether they put oxygen in it or not, which I highly doubt that if they were harvesting her organs that they would have. If anything, they just would have made it look like they had started her heart. Because if you go back into my videos, you will see me in War Room 2, standing there above those papers, clearly pointing out that if you take oxygen and you put it into a dead body si blood system that had been dead you are going to defeat the purpose of what you're trying to fucking do. If anything, you're going to speed up the process of the decomposition stage. So, if they're harvesting organs, which I think they are, if they're going to embalm a body, people, and go as far as do it with that, and, and keep her on machines and all this other shit, they're going to take out what they need first before they embalm it. So was her heart really started knowing that if they did they would have screwed up even more of her organs and they would have been less salvageable because she was dead she was a dead she was dead for an hour and a half before they supposedly started her heart and this is what I told the coroner Yesterday, May, May 16th, 2019. She was dead because the cops are ignoring the timeline. Plain and fucking simple. They are ignoring the timeline. They are mocking my family by ignoring the timeline. They are not doing anybody a favor except themselves because they allowed the, the fentanyl to be the, uh, mm, what is it called? To be the uh, excuse for this mass culling of the population that brings in organs conveniently when needed. And with the baby boomer generation coming in for the next 15 to 20 years, and all these rich immigrants coming in with their sick kids or sick selves. In terms of they need kidneys, they need organs, they need, you know, they need livers, they need heart valves, you know, they, they, but they can afford, they can afford to get those things. They can afford to jump the fucking queue. They can afford to buy the shit on the black market if they, if it becomes available. They can afford to put out fucking hits on people to go get those fucking organs after they pay off a bunch of fucking people to get the system in place. And once the system is in place, it becomes a network. Sudden with unknown cause, violent or unnatural, the coroner decides whether to hold a post-mortem examination and, if necessary, an inquest. Anyway, all they tested through their fucking professional... How much did, it, how much did they pay? How much did the coroner's office charge the provincial government who are the taxpayers to do a forensic autopsy on a body that had been rotting on machines for eight fucking days and was ready to explode and had probably already had its insides pillaged including the brain okay did was it a cut Deal, people? Did they get a discount? Because all they did was really just test the blood 
And I said to her, how do you even know that was Shimei's blood? Called her on it. How do you know as a coroner that the information that's being given to you is true? They falsified her medical records. So how can you possibly guarantee to me that the blood that was tested was Shemaine's? Did you do a DNA test on it? And what about the urine? If she was so alive, why there is no urine for them to be testing? But it says that they got urine out of her in her medical files. So why didn't they test that? Because when the cops came to my house and said, oh, oh, don't worry, don't worry. When they take her body to the hospital or to the forensic autopsy, they got all the body fluids that she came in with. All of them. What's that supposed to mean? They had no stomach content. Sounds like they had no fucking urine. But they're watching my videos, so I'm sure they'll backtrack like my son would say. And they'll... Blame the coroner that I spoke to yesterday on the phone saying, oh, she didn't know. She didn't know that we had actually tested her urine. She just thought that we didn't. But really, on um, here it says we tested her urine too. So therefore, because we tested her urine, she must, she must have been alive. Any excuse not to do their job, people. Right? Because they want those dead bodies coming in. That's why. That's why they're not doing their jobs. They don't care. As long as it doesn't happen to their family members and they get to build the wealth, that's all they care about. And that's why 1,500 people are dying every year in the province of British Columbia, Canada. And not only are they dying, but they're being murdered off as our professional fucking public union sector is standing there mocking us as we die. Basically. How does a coroner investigate a death? The coroner will ask the police to gather the information about the death. You can't trust the police. This is what I told her. So what you going to do now? Pretend that that's not true? Just act like I never said it and move along and stay with the status quo? Because at the end of the day, in 15 years from now, it guarantees your pension plan at the expense of the family of my my family dying. One here, one there, one here, one there. Just to support that one fucking corner. And I told her, not on a personal level. Because I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sure you are. But at the end of the day, you work for the fucking union and your union is corrupt. But I'm not. I understand that you aren't. But your union is. So if you're going to cover up the fucking police, you become part of the fucking problem. If you can't stand up to the police and say, police, you did a lousy fucking job, I'm moving in and taking over because I'm the coroner and I'm tired of being fucked around. Right? If you can't do that as a coroner to protect your fucking integrity, your work ethics, your morality, <coughs> peace of mind, <coughs> fucking step down. But they don't want to step down because they're part of the problem. They're in that little network. Right? When you're talking millions, billions of fucking dollars, it's hard to walk away from that, people. Especially when you're just dealing with lowlifes like Shimei, Geraldine, Charney, and the rest of her family, and including Uncle John. Because they didn't treat Uncle John any better. If a coroner is satisfied that death was from natural causes and no further investigation is necessary, then they may accept the medical cause of death that a doctor gives and issues a coroner notification to allow 
the death to be registered. This one kind of throws me off because I already have Shmay's death certificate. So it's already been registered. So I don't know what the hell the coroner is doing. And it sounds like the coroner has a whole lot of fucking power in here to put the brakes on shit and hold the police to account. But the pro they don't want, they don't. It's more than one. It's more than one. The whole fucking office. They don't want to put the brakes on the cops. Because ultimately, those kickbacks start to kick in. And this is what I reminded this coroner. But she didn't want to hear it because she's not connected to that colluded group of white criminal activities that are profiteering off the fucking misery of the freaking public. It's not their daughters being murdered. Or sons. Or any other relative for that matter. You don't murder your own kind unless, unless of course, it, it relates to big money. People go to war for property. People kill people for property. Right? Dead bodies is just another form of fucking profit, property to make profit. If the coroner is satisfied, so in other words, the woman that I was talking to yesterday is satisfied with the results of the police in terms of case closed. So, so sorry, accident, move on. Let me get to the other 1,000 accidents and the other 500 suicides. And we'll just ease in a few more numbers next year because the baby boomers are like all of a sudden flooding the system crying for fucking organs as the immigrants are buying up all the fucking property and stressing out people like us, me, in that little, you know, so that our families end up dying just so they can move into our houses. And I don't mean... I own this house. I'm talking about living in my own country, people, with a sense of security and not have to worry about my family being fucking murdered for profit. For property. Even Amari was treated like property. Oh, daddy showed up the next day. Give me my son. He's my son. No, you're not getting your son. You're getting some papers. Notice you, sh you shaved your hair, too. Why did you shave your hair? You running around looking like a nappy you-know-what for all this time that I've fucking known you and all of a sudden my daughter dies and you shave your hair showing up saying, give me the baby. Do you see how Amari was treated like property? And when you couldn't get the baby, you ran and you snuck up into Shimei's bedroom and you took the TV and the PlayStation that had been sitting there for a year and a half and you disappeared into the fucking darkness with your mother driving you there. So in the end, Shimei died for a fucking TV and a fucking PlayStation. On a, on a, on a, on a, what do you call that? Petty level. Petty, petty as in petty street crime. Corner, though, that's, that's, you're playing big ballpark there, people. Big fucking ballpark. So, anyway, a coroner's report is the report, I'm going to just stop on this, because I can go on this for hours, and I'm not going to waste my time. <coughs> Uh, this is just that little light flickering in that huge fucking cavern waiting for the fucking herd to start coming in. Because when they start trickling in, that cavern's going to get full. And then when that cavern gets fucking full, full of fucking lights, that's when people are going to start waking up. And they're going to fight back. And they're going to hold these people to account. One way or another. A coroner's report is the report produced further to an investigation by a coroner identifying the deceased person, the date, place, blah, 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 read that. The coroner will ask the police to gather the information about the death. First it was suicide, then it was accident. 
Corner comes along. Oh, exactly. Music to my ears. That's exactly the way I like to do business. It's easy on my heart. Less stress. You know, I don't have to have no agitation. Just rubber stamp, move on. If a coroner is satisfied that death was from natural causes, even if they're not, because they don't want to hear that evidence was destroyed, they need to be educated on what embalming means. Right? And then, even if they don't, they still ignore it. Right? Kind of like the courthouse when you take shit to court and they fucking ignore that too, right? And send it to the cops as if you can trust the cops. And here's the sick part of it all, people. Here is the fucking... And I'll just leave it on this, okay? This is the sick part of it all. <laughs> Speaking of cops, I had to phone the cops two days ago and asked, first of all, to see if they would do such a thing. And that was to do a welfare check on my daughter, Sierra. Because the last time she came here, I'm telling you people, she looks like she's almost getting ready to explode. She kind of looking like Shmay was when Shmay was hooked up to those machines. There is definitely something wrong with my daughter. And um, Tisha seen it as well. Sierra's thighs... Her gut, arms, everything. Every fucking part of her body is like swollen by a third. If not more. You know, and I give her money to go to the hospital. I tell her to go to the hospital, right? And so anyway, well, she's going to die soon. But they're going to pimp her out to the very fucking bitter end. Right? That's that's what's happening here. She's being pimped out to the very bitter fucking end. Because really, she needs she needs to be institutionalized. Not in a fucking jail setting like they've been doing with her going in and out, in and out for fucking breaches. But in a setting where she can have, um, what is it called? Assisted living. Since they don't have mental institutions anymore, she needs to be in a group home type setting with freaking, um, you know, the, the with the medicine being given to her on a daily basis in terms of methadone or whatever it is, with, you know, monitoring of, uh, you know, just something. Something, people. She needs something, but they're not giving it to her because she doesn't have money like Uncle John to medically kidnap him, house him in a fucking hospital for five months, right? That's what they did with him. They housed him up in a hospital for five fucking months, kept him fucking drugged. Used the fact that he couldn't use his legs because he had bad legs and he couldn't see, so they took away his fucking glasses. <clears throat> and didn't give him enough physiotherapy so he could and ran off his family ran off his family so that, you know he 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 was bound to sit there he had no choice but to sit there and they kept him like that for five fucking months through their hospital setting just as the paperwork was being facilitated through those five fucking months and then they moved him up into the country Put him in a fucking room by himself, basically, as his sister worked, as her husband worked, as Cheryl, the niece, came by once in a while to uh, check up on Uncle John. And he basically sat like that for, what, another five, six months until they finally put him into an old folks home after the, ch the check was cut, uh, after the deal was done, and they were safe to put him in there. In terms of, well, we got what we needed. Now we'll just put him over there and fucking let him die. And we'll make taxpayers pay for it as he paid for it. Because they took his pension plan to pay for their service. Their forced service. As they robbed his bank account of his inheritance. And proceeded to gang stalk and target his immediate family through the healthcare system with Shimei coming in first. And because they're part of that network, because they're healthcare professionals and they're oh, oh, so smart with their code this and their code that. Anyway. I have to write this shit down, people. It's so fucking depressing. 
But if I don't fucking ever get a chance to write it down because I'm doing other things, because <coughs> you know they come to you in multiples, right? It's just a matter of before something else fucking happens around here, you know, and uh, my attention will be distracted from that. Because time is their weapon. I've always said that. Every Go back into my videos. Time is their weapon. Right? So, it's pretty apparent that the coroner doesn't want to stand up to the cops. Because she refuses to acknowledge what the family has to say. In regards to what happened to Shemay. How it happened to Shemay. Right? And why? I got some great news. Me and my boyfriend came back from the clinic yesterday and we got some really good news about the baby. Everything is perfect and we're having a boy. So my son is sick for the first time. He's seven months and he's never had a cold or any fever. But just yesterday he started getting a runny nose and now he's coughing and he's sneezing so much. And on top of that, he's teething. So, like, he's not really sleeping right now. He's really fussy, and I'm so tired, but I'm so glad my sister's home to watch him for me now. So I can get a little bit of sleep. But my poor baby, I hate seeing him like that. But I am so happy that I get to take care of him. I love him so much.